So the following video is going to show you how to um, track hurricanes and how to you know view all the different models out there. You know when you hear the weather people talking about models, I want to kind of go through and explain what that really means and how they're doing it. Um, we just went through a huge storm here in Wilmington, North Carolina, um, and you know a lot of people here watched and tracked the storm. And I, I this is something I do all the time because I'm a surfer, so I like to track the storms to see what waves are coming in and also to know when I need to evacuate, as we just had to. Um, so I'm going to show you three different sites that I use to track storms. Um, so the first one is the NOAA National Hurricane Center. This is the main site. This is the, the site where you really get the most, you know, accurate model, um, accurate track of a storm. Um, the one issue with this site is it only shows you the storm up to five days out. So when you go to NOAA's site, you know, you can pick where you are in the Atlantic or Pacific ocean um, obviously in the Atlantic and what you want to do is you want to scroll down the site and you want to go to the warnings cones and static images to find the five-day forecast because this is really the most accurate you know if you're inside this zone you have a good chance of being impacted and you can see here's the three-day impact and the five-day impact and one thing to note about these storms is you know, if looking at a storm five days out, it could change drastically. So this is not 100% where the storm is actually going to go. You know, it, it, they're saying at this point it could go anywhere within this cone, but really it could end up way up here. So you have to continue to watch them daily because they keep changing. Okay, so that's the main page that you're going to see. So let's move on to the next page that I really like. And this is the main one that I use. It's called Tropical Tidbits. Um, tropicaltidbits.com and this has some great information this is the site that I use that shows me all the models so first of all if you go to current storms if you can scroll down and find the storm you're interested in watching you can see they have the National Hurricane Center you know on here and then they have all the models these are the global right here um, and then we have the GFS which are also global models and now we have CMC which are the Canadian and then on the side, so if I click on any of these, I can see all the potential runs that they're showing right now. And then we have the intensity guide, which shows how intense do we think the storm is going to be. So if I were to click on that, it's going to show me tropical storm, category one, two, or three, and how many hours out they predict it being that. And you can see each of these are a different model. This is what we mean by looking at different models. Now let's talk about um, looking at the main models. How do I really track that? So I'm going to click forecast models. All right, and there are two different main models we really look at here. And there are three um, if we include the CMC. But really what we look at here is this ECMWF, which this is the Euro model. So when we say the Euro model, this is what we're referring to. We have the GFS and updated GFS, which is another model that I like to look at. Um, but the Euro model is usually the most accurate. Um, but we also look at the GFS and we can look at the CMC. And basically what we do is we're going to see, we can look at this map. And what it does is it shows you how many hours out. And we can go through and scroll or click to see if there are any storms coming. You can see the GFS. We have a... You can see what time, so it's been updated at noon. The GFS is updated at um, 0, 6, 12, and the Euro is only updated at 0 and 12. So you can go through and scroll and click and see where the storms are coming, where they're predicted to hit. We can look at the Euro, see if there are any storms, scroll through. see the euro is not showing anything and then we can look at the updated GFS which is another one that I really like to look at and you can see this one goes out really far you can see 384 hours you know even like looking at the 10 day 240 hours is usually pretty inaccurate you usually need to be which is why the National uh, Hurricane Center is not that far out All right, so 
that's how you actually look at the global and euro models and then we also have the cmc which is the canadian model which isn't as accurate but it is a, one of the big ones to look at all right and then finally we have spaghetti models which is basically a page that just combines everything into one you know you can look at the national hurricane you can look at uh images from um, tropical tidbits like for example if I click on this one of the sites that they use and show me all the different like here's the different models you can see there's that euro model which is going to show where it is additionally on here you know we have some different feeds from Facebook and Twitter this is nice because it gives you a lot of different twitter feeds of different weather people who are going to go through but that's basically how you track a storm you always start with the national hurricane center um, but they only go up to five days out so if you're looking for more accurate you can start going to these models where you can see up to 10 15 days out um, but you always have to remember that when looking at these updated models 10 days out is not accurate it's really meaningless because it's going to change significantly based on different weather patterns thank you